Alright fuckers and fuckettes, when you go to change your oil filter, it varies from bike to bike. This is a uh, 82 GS450A, and the whole GS450 family from 80 to about 87, whether it's chain drive or shaft drive, is about the same. There's three bolts on this cover, and I don't care if you got the oil cooler or not, because those oil cooler lines don't come off with the cover, and uh, that's really all just in the pan. Go on ahead. Pop your three little acorn nuts off. Make sure you pull your washers in your hand before you pull that plate. Because if you've got oil down in here, which I don't, this bike's already been drained. Um, you don't want to drop that shit in there and have to fish around for a damn washer. Trust me on that. But, here's number two. Number three here is pending. Put one hand down there like that. When you go to get the last one. And now if you're in AutoZone's parking lot and you're changing your all, um, you don't always have a parts cleaner, but at least when you got this sucker off, at least wipe it off. Um, and there's a spring in here. Leave that on. But, uh, I'm in a shop environment, so I'm going to hit this in the parts washer real quick. Okay, so I hit that sucker in the parts washer, it looks a lot prettier. Now, before I even bother pulling my old oil, well, actually, you know what? Because this is a Suzuki, I'll go on ahead and pull my old oil filter. It only goes on one way, so you, it's really kind of hard to mess that up. Um, they stuffed the O-ring in the same bag, that's why I'm doing it this way. Usually. I'll put the o-ring in my cover first. Go on ahead and get that sucker in there. There's an o-ring in here. Half the time you gotta pick it out, the other half the time it just falls out like it just did right in front of you. Work that sucker in there with your thumb. Make sure that all them little grooves line up and fall in. Make sure that it's going to sit to where it's not going to pinch itself. Now, put your spring back in, of course, and just go. Right back on. Holding it. 
I'm going to catch an easy one first. Okay, I'm not tightened that all the way. I just got it on there. And I come over here. I'll catch me another one. I'm just using my thumb to push that in. You can see how weak that damn spring is. Boom. Now I shouldn't have to hold it. I should just be able to get this last one on. Take my socket. Actually, I can get a regular 10 millimeter wrench on that. I forgot about the more last thing I need in the ass on these fucking automatics. Dennis's fault, I don't give a fuck what he says, it's his goddamn fault. We're coming for another two million, this has got to work. Yeah, I'm not tightening all the way yet. This one I'm going to spin on a little bit with my finger. Again, I'm not going to tighten all the way yet. I'm just bringing it down to where it stops on its own. And do the same on this bottom one. Alright, now I come over on the other side. This one doesn't get thumb pressure. This one gets two finger pressure. That's all it gets. I don't know what that is in foot pounds or inch pounds or newton meters or anything like that. But I go like that. And that's all it gets. That's all it gets. Yeah, actually that one gets a little bit more. Boom. Ah. Well, <laughs> didn't quite sit down all the way on its own. When it starts hurting my inside finger, that's all the pressure it gets. Go around, double check, boom, I'm done. And by hurting, I don't mean fucking massive pain. I mean, I can feel the edge of the wrench is going to hurt my finger. Boom, that's done. That's an oil filter on a and pretty much any GS450. That's how you change it. Tyler, tell fuckers and fuckettes later.